Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about anaerobic reaction, anaerobic process, especially anaerobic respiration. What is meant by an anaerobic process? This is any process that can occur without oxygen. Okay, it's any process that can occur without oxygen oxygen for example anaerobic fermentation okay and this anaerobic fermentation fermentation may include alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation okay and the decomposition of organic matter These are the examples for anaerobic reaction. Okay. Aerobic process takes place in the presence of oxygen. And this anaerobic process takes place in the absence of oxygen. Well, what is meant by anaerobic respiration? The use of electron transport to generate a proton gradient for chemiosmotic synthesis of ATP using a final electron acceptor other than oxygen. In aerobic respiration, the final electron acceptor is oxygen. But in anaerobic respiration, the final electron acceptor is other than oxygen. Here also electron transport happens to generate proton gradient for the chemiosmotic synthesis of ATP. In anaerobic respiration also ATP is formed but the final electron acceptor is other than oxygen. Here you can see glucose in the cytoplasm undergo glycolysis to produce pyruvate And this pyruvate enters to mitochondria and undergo aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen. Okay, and the and undergo electron transport chain and the ATP is formed as a result of that. But in the absence of oxygen, pyruvate undergo fermentation and produce lactate. This is the lactic acid fermentation, example for anaerobic respiration. Here also you can see glycolysis after glycolysis, that means formation of pyruvate from glucose. It depends on the availability of oxygen. This pyruvate undergo aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration. If the oxygen is present, it's undergo aerobic respiration and the spiroist enters to mitochondria and undergo oxidative phosphorylation. As a result, 30 to, 30 to 32 ATP produced. In the absence of oxygen, the spiroid undergo fermentation, either alcohol fermentation like ethanol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. As a result, two ATP is formed. In fermentation, CO2 is released. The byproduct will be ethanol or lactate. From the glucose pyruvate form, then acetaldehyde, the final product is ethanol. You know, what are anaerobic reactions? We already discussed about that. Anaerobic respiration is the process of creating energy without the presence of oxygen. Sometimes 
the body cannot supply the muscle with the oxygen it needs to create energy for example during intense exercise during an intense exercise sometimes the body cannot supply the muscles the oxygen but it needs to create energy right so the example for anaerobic reaction is or example for anaerobic respiration is alcohol fermentation lactic acid fermentation and decomposition of organic molecule so glucose plus enzymes give carbon dioxide plus ethanol or lactic acid this is the equations for this anaerobic reaction though it does not produce as much energy as aerobic respiration okay in aerobic respiration there will be lots of atp is produced around 32 but in anaerobic reaction it does not produce much energy so only 2 atp okay so anaerobic digestion means okay anaerobic digestion you may heard about that is a process through which bacteria ba break down organic matter such as animal manure waste water bio solids and food wastes in the absence of oxygen you just remember this term, anaerobic digestion so in yeast anaerobic reaction make alcohol while in your muscle they make lactic acid so in yeast this anaerobic reactions make alcohol but in human muscle it produce lactic acid so this air aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration we discussed about that the difference aerobic respiration need oxygen and anaerobic respiration does not need oxygen and the examples for anaerobic respiration okay anaerobic exercises okay exercises which involve quick burst of energy and are performed performed at maximum effort for a short period of time example jumping heavy weight lifting etc these are example for anaerobic respiration mainly exercise such as jumping heavy weight lifting you know anaerobic respiration takes place in the cell cytoplasm and produce lactic acid okay this aerobic respiration takes place in mitochondria whereas this anaerobic respiration takes place in cytoplasm of the cell and produce lactic acid okay the chemical equation is c6 h12 o6 that means glucose give 2 c3 h6 o3 that means lactic acid
this is glucose glucose give lactic acids similar to aerobic exercise Anaerobic exercise has beneficial effect on person's cardiovascular health. However, in comparison with aerobic exercise, anaerobic exercise demands more energy from the body within a short time of frame. So, this anaerobic exercise need more energy from short period of time. Uh, you know the carbon dioxide and water are the end products of aerobic respiration but here alcohol or lactic acid is the end product of anaerobic respiration and this aerobic respiration releases more energy okay around 32 ATP than anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration release near 2 ATP okay uh, the two types of anaerobic respiration is alcoholic fermentation well this alcoholic fermentation in yeast cell and lactic acid fermentation in higher animal muscle okay for example, cumin, higher animal muscle tissue during heavy activity. And this anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen and is less efficient than aerobic respiration. Unlike aerobic respiration, the end product here is ethyl alcohol as in yeast and lactic acid as in animals. The another name for aerobic respiration is fermentation okay aerobic respiration is the process by which cells break down sugars to produce energy without oxygen and anaerobic respiration is also called fermentation okay you know anaerobic process in which organic food is converted into simpler compounds and chemical energy is produced Certain types use electron transport chain. Okay, certain types use electron transport chain system to pass the electron to the final electron acceptor. Okay, in aerobic respiration, final electron acceptor is oxygen. In anaerobic respiration, final electron acceptor is other than this oxygen okay for example nitrate in anaerobic respiration oxygen is not used as final electron trans acceptor okay in this example this is the process called denitrification The final electron acceptor in the electron transport system is nitrate. Formula is NO3. Okay. The denitrification occurs in aerobic anaerobic condition with the presence of denitrifying microorganism and soluble carbon compounds oxidize the forms of N for example nitrates or nitrates so this denitrification occurs in anaerobic condition and it requires electron transport chain and the final electron acceptor is nitrate You know, alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation takes place in cytoplasm and this denitrification process.
include this electron transport chain contain this electron transport chain and the final electron acceptor is other than oxygen that is here in in denitrification it's nitrate okay hope you understood about anaerobic reaction or anaerobic respiration thank you for watching